We're a little early. That was planned to be here on the early side. And uh, hanging out with my grandmother for a little bit. My mom and stepdad and everybody was cooking over here tonight. So, just like we did in Texas, we're going to hit Marshalls. Why not? I mean, let's make it a series while we're out here. I can't roll into town and not. Typically, home is Marshalls. I usually find good stuff. Not always. Don't quote me on that because I may end up eating those words here. But I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Um, yesterday's video, because these are probably going to drop back to back, these rack store videos. But yesterday's video, huh, there's my aunt. <laughs> so uh, she's, I think she, she's too blind to see me. I don't think she realized it was me yet. Um, she lives by my grandmother. Anyways, uh, the clean, pure soap that I picked up yesterday, me and the wife both wore that out the shower. She loved it. It's, that's a great fragrance, guys. If you find that one for 20 bucks, might be worth a pickup, but let's head to Marshall's.
visor on the first pass, but Zero Icon Chrome. I tried Zero Icon in the past, a decent fragrance. But the Chrome one, I did look at the notes. I have, I'm not going to act like I didn't. And it's got iris and marine notes, I believe, incense, stuff like that. It seemed interesting for 13 bucks. Might be a total miss, but we're going to give it a shot. Well, hello there. Fancy seeing you here in my grandmother's office. Hmm. Figured this was a good spot to do this. Let me unlock the iPad. All right, so I didn't see it on the first pass. Is there Icon Chrome? I did look up the notes. They had the notes on Saks Fifth Avenue's website. And I saw Iris. I saw Incense. I saw Cardamom and Cumin and stuff like that. And I was like, you know what? For 13 bucks, by the way, it's 8 bucks on Saks Fifth Avenue's website. If you're interested in grabbing it, I would do that. It's $8. Um, I figured, why the hell not? Why the hell not? Right? Might be a total bust. Worst case scenario is a waste of 13 bucks, and we got to talk about it and rule it out. Or, might be a decent little gem for you guys. Let me bust this open. So I have a feeling this is going to be a, um, the bottle's probably going to look just like this. It looked like it in the picture. It's probably going to be a fingerprint magnet, but eh, who cares, right? Yep. <laughs> Cheaply painted metallic look. I'm sure it'll be a massive fingerprint magnet, but cheap ass cap. I mean, I don't expect much here, but could be a decent ultra cheapy. You never know. Don't know unless you try, right? That's what I do. I blind buy so you don't have to. That's oddly familiar. It's aquatic, metallic. I get the cardamom. I get a little bit of bubble gum. It's not bad. The opening's not bad at all. We'll pull the notes up in a little bit. I got to unlock the iPad again. This is familiar, though. It's very familiar. Cardamom aquatic. Soapy, a little powdery, so familiar. Bubblegummy fresh, a little bit of like Invictus Aqua meets um, like the card, the way the cardamom and the lavender come across in Latafa's Ajazi Intensive Silver. So people are going to say, oh, does it smell like blue electric? No, not really, but like the way the cardamom and the marine notes come across in that, I kind of get something similar here. This is a bit more spicy. There's something a little darker and earthy in the background. It's starting to change. That's actually not bad. It's actually not bad at all. Let's pull those notes up. This isn't bad. We're going to give it a moment to dry, but we're going to pull these notes up. Here we go. Sex Fifth Avenue. So, top notes, cardamom, ginger, divano flowers, and lemon. Heart notes of black cinnamon, cloves, of course a pop-up. Iris root and French labdanum. Base notes, incense, cedar, patchouli, vetiver, and liquid amber. Liquid amber, that's the first time I've seen that. It's got this marine tone to it. It's, it's like it's this aquatic feel. Very much. A lot of cardamom. The ginger is probably what's giving me the spice because I don't really get a lot of like the cinnamon smell, but I'm sure it's contributing. Cloves must be that dark earthy tone I'm getting in the background, but it doesn't have a heavy clove smell. So if some of you like hate the smell of clove, it's not a heavy, it doesn't like jump out at me. It's, ooh, clove. This is not bad. This is not bad at all. 4.2 ounce bottle, 13 bucks. You know what? I'm a little impressed. I was not expecting much. I Just a gamble. You know, I mean, it's a cheap blind buy. You never know. Might be a waste of money. Might be a nice little gem. I'm not saying this is something you should absolutely rush out and grab. But the next time you're at the rack store and you see this and you just want to buy something and you're like, eh, let me check it out. TLTG said it's not that bad. Actually, for 13 bucks, I think it's a treasure. I was prepared to crap on this one and call it trash, or maybe be lukewarm and call it trash. It's actually pretty good. Cardamom ginger combo stands out a lot. I get an aquatic feel. Even though there's no aquatic notes listed, it's got this marine feel to it. A little spice, a little hint of this dark earthy tone, but not much. I don't get a 
like it says iris root not a heavy dose of iris if anything that's what makes it a little soapy and I'm not really getting much incense maybe that'll change as it dries like I'm not getting a lot of dark notes but there's a little bit of an earthy dark nuance in the back this is extremely surprising to me something told me give it a shot I'm glad I did in fact I got so we're in Louisiana obviously we've established that heading to Florida the last leg of the trip I'm wearing this tomorrow problem is I can't post the scent of the day because this video is not coming out for several more days Oh, I'm going to post the scent of the day anyways because it's going to be what the hell I'm wearing. But I think I'm going to wear this tomorrow. That's subject to change. I may change my mind, but I'm, I'm vibing with it. I like this a lot. I like this quite a bit, guys. I think it's a treasure for $13. Well, surprising pickup that I was expecting to be able to trash. Just save you $13. Boy, this was a waste of money. That was the plan. That's what I thought was going to happen. I had a feeling it was just going to be a bunk flanker to a pretty solid original the original solid i haven't smelled it in a long time i've never owned a bottle i'm trying to remember who had it i had a friend that had it it's not that bad i want to say it kind of like davidoff zeno ish kind of thing i don't remember exactly i want to say that's what it's kind of like but anyways the chrome flanker not too shabby and it kind of fits with the theme because it is a little metallic a little bit and i don't know what to attribute the metallic aquatic feel too it's not full of like violet leaf or anything like that solid and until next time do me a quick favor go ahead and like comment subscribe i do appreciate all the feedback and love hearing from you guys how many of you gave this a shot and what do you think about it was it complete junk when you got it did you be like eh, i don't know what you're talking about it's trash or are you like oh i'm so glad you picked this up i wanted your opinion because i agree i think it's solid too i have a feeling we might get some of both of that and maybe some intrigue. Again, worth 13 bucks? Absolutely. Would I be as happy for 30? Probably, because I like the way it smells, and that's all that really matters, regardless of price point, right? I think if I would have took a shot at 30 bucks, I'd be just as happy. Just that much happier. It was under 15. And until next time, I will say if you if you decide to roll the dice on this extreme cheapy called Zero Icon Chrome, and you give it a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.